his new record album, which he named after himself, and to see his wife's animated film, Seaside Woman. I call it a cartoon. Most people call it animation. But it's very un-Disney-like, isn't it? Well, I love Disney, and it's influenced by Disney, but the fellow who did it said, oh, that's all been done. But I love the idea of entertainment, you know, and, and animation something I loved when I was a kid. Linda, when you're working on a film, do you consult Paul at all? Do you ask him uh, his advice? Constantly. No, never, never, Rex. No, I just showed it it's to him when it was life. finished, and he said, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> Not true, but... Well, are you at all competitive in your, in your marriage? No, not really at all, no. I have no ambitions, you see, so he's all right. Paul, you're, what, 38 now? 37. 37, Max. well... I'm 38. There's a big are difference. You? <laughs> yeah. Paul, you're obviously very successful. When Elvis Presley was 40, he was fat, drunk, and dying. You obviously are the picture of health and uh, fairly well-adjusted. How do you do it? What's your secret? Is there any? Is there anything that the world should know about? Fantasy? Well, you know, I mean, I suppose like before I married Linda, I, I was about to burn myself out, but uh, I didn't realize it at the time, you know. And, but looking back now, kind of ten years, eleven years later, uh, there were definitely a few moments there where I was getting near the edge, kind of thing. But. Um, Linda's kind of a steadying influence. That's the. That's because she's American. I she's a, well, she's American. <laughs> well, now, was this 11 years ago? You've been married 11 years. Yes. yes. Would you believe it? 11 years. <laughs> I wouldn't. And four children later. Did anyone say it wouldn't last? I suppose. Yeah, Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> she you know, swore it wouldn't, but I said, Liz. This is gonna run. And look what she's been up to for the last oh, 11 years. Oh no. She, she should be so lucky. Um, I know, Paul, that you're very, probably very tired of Beatles questions, but even if we never have this uh, long-anticipated and uh, eagerly awaited reunion uh, that the whole world uh, hopes for with the Beatles, do you think that there would ever be a chance of another Lennon-McCartney song, maybe just one song from you guys? Well, I, I wouldn't say there would be, actually, because the last time I spoke to John, I, I just happened to ask him about whether he was writing songs and stuff, just out of my own curiosity. And uh, he's told me he's kind of finished doing that, and he's not yeah. really into that. But, um, which when you say it to people, they say, oh, well, you know, this big disappointment, or you must have gone crazy or something. But if you think about it, like, I mean, most of us do our jobs to arrive at a point where we no longer have to do our jobs, where we put our feet up yeah. and we can enjoy life for a change. And uh, I, I think he's probably reached that point. Well, you haven't reached that point, so the work must you still be... You can't enjoy life, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the work must still be important, though, to you. Well, I just like it, you know. Um, it, it just is, it's sort of like a hobby to me. Um, I just enjoy doing it, you know. It's, it's a relief for me to write a song. Um, if it ever got to be a pressure, I'd stop it. Is it true that you are the richest rock star in the world? Since Croesus? <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I, I don't know how rich everyone else is. You know, I'm not counting. You, you... Who's counting, Rex? 